This masterpiece truly lightens up our lives. It's also one of the most recognized still life paintings in the whole world. It's simply titled Basket of Apples and it was painted in the year 1895. Some people said that his work breathed new life into the genre of still lifes with a new take on the old style of not trying to be too realistic. And what we see is the structure and controllability of still life, which allowed the artist to have a well-ordered point of departure for his experiment with line, plane, and color. Interestingly, he was so analytical that he couldn't use real fruit because it would rot. Or the Basket of Apples is among the great paintings by Paul Cezanne as it helped form a bridge between 19th century Impressionism and 20th century Cubism. Cezanne's use of color and his short, flat brushstrokes bring together form and perspective in an innovative way. The flatness of his work demands our attention as we try and interpret space and volume. Cezanne developed his own kind of pictorial language that was different than the Impressionists. Still life was, in a way, the most experimental area of Cezanne's painting. There are hundreds of paintings of jugs, of flowers, of apples. He, in fact, became known as the painter of apples. Paul Cezanne, 1839-1906, was a French artist and post-impressionist painter whose work laid the foundations of the transition from the 19th century conception of artistic endeavor to a new and radically different world of art in the 20th century. Cezanne's paintings tended to ignore these strict rules. This was a choice he made because those rules and methods could not render what he was looking for effectively. Cezanne wanted to paint objectively and attempt to describe his perceptions of the world around him, not to just break them down into symbols and a system of representation, but to paint them as they actually were. 